Let's revise Feynman diagrams for AQA physics. We're going to start off with two electrons. What are they going to do? Because they have the same charge, they're going to be repelling. Remember, you can think of the y-axis as time in Feynman diagrams. So this means that this electron here is going to go this way, like so. And this electron is going to get repelled as well. The reason why they repel actually because they're exchanging virtual photons, which is the gauge boson for this uh, electromagnetic interaction, which can be represented presented just with a squiggly line. Next Feynman diagram to revise, we can have a proton that ends up turning into a neutron. Now we need to conserve charge, the total charge before was positive. This means that we need to have something positive as well since the neutron is neutral and this positive particle will be the W plus boson. The W plus boson is going to have a pretty short lifetime it will decay into further two particles one of them will be the positron and then the other one will be the neutrino or the electron neutrino more specifically. We can also have a neutron that may turn into a proton. Anytime that we have some quarks changing flavor and a neutron turning into a proton or a proton turning into a neutron, it is a weak interaction. So we're going to need to have something negative here because the neutron is neutral, this thing is positive, so the charge before and after should be zero. Therefore, what we're going to get is the W minus boson. Once again, this is a pretty short lived particle and this will decay into further two particles. One one of them is going to be the electron and if I have a normal particle here that means that I need to get an antiparticle as well which is the anti electron neutrino which will be going this way and this here is beta minus decay. You also need to know the Feynman diagram for electron capture. We have a proton that will interact via the weak interaction with an electron and this here will produce a neutron. Anytime that a proton turns to a neutron, it's a weak interaction or vice versa and a neutrino like so. The final diagram that we need to know about is electron proton collision, which looks almost identical. The only difference though is that it's going to be a W minus boson that interacts and that is going the other way. But in both of those cases, we have a proton and an electron going. Um, in the electron proton collision, we have a W minus here. In the previous one, we had a W plus and uh, we're left with with a neutron and an electron neutrino. Feynman diagrams are only a small portion of the story and in order to ensure that you score maximum grades on particle physics, have a look at my entire video in which I cover all of the spec points of all of AQA particle physics in only around 40 minutes. This video is right over here.